Hey everyone, I hope you all are happy and healthy. Firstly, I am really very sorry for not being active on YouTube for past 3 to 4 months and I am thankful for all my subscribers who are always there in the telegram supporting me and clearing their queries and understanding why I couldn't upload any videos. Therefore, thanks to each one of you. So as many might know my name, however, for those who don't, I am Saili, the voice behind the English Cherry. I want to tell you that in the recent NTA UGC NET 2022, I cleared NET and JRF with 97.98 percentile. So, I am a Maharashtrian girl from Aurangabad. I did my master's in English literature at Baba Sahib Ambedkar Marathwada University, which I completed in 2021. While studying master's, I filled out the form for the NET exam, but I didn't prepare well at that time. Just with the preparation of a month or two, I appeared for the examination, but I couldn't even pass the NET at that time and I missed it by a percentile. And this year, by God's grace, with the support of my parents, brother, well-wishers and of course with my hard work, I qualified both NET and JRF. For this, I didn't join any classes. However, I judiciously used whatever was available from the deck of Talveer sir for paper 1, Nirja Raheja ma'am and Kalyani Vallat ma'am for paper 2 from YouTube, Telegram and their free sessions. To brief you about this exam, UGC NET is a national level entrance test that NTA organizes and candidates who successfully qualify the test are considered for recruitment as assistant professors or junior research fellowship in Indian universities and colleges. Talking about my experience, I must say that the NET exam is not easy for literature students as there are several writers to remember then dramas, poems, novels, novellas, short stories, years of publication, years of author's birth and death days, periodicals, literary theory, criticism, cultural studies, world literature, research methodologies and more on. It's tough to remember all these things chronologically. Apart from this, there is an abundance of books available in the market and online. So we have to be wise in the selection of the material and preparation strategies. The best thing I must mention in my journey was that I was not studying alone. There was my little brother studying along with me, who also just recently cracked JE Advance and is now studying at IIT Gandhinagar. So our days used to begin around 6 to 7 and I remember we studied faithfully for 7 to 8 hours a day. It was not that we only studied but we also watched movies, went in the evenings to play badminton and did exercises whenever necessary. Often we sat for meditation and also we gossiped with one another a lot about our studies. It's not that we didn't get bored from studying. We did get. Sometimes, more than my brother, I used to give up easily, but he was always there to ease me. Again, we studied in the living room together. We didn't prefer to go into the separate room to do so, which was genuinely beneficial. So I think with study, fun activities and mental calmness is necessary. Also, I must not forget our parents, who played a crucial role in shaping our success stories. From my father, who is a senior police inspector, I think we both inherited discipline from him that we ought to maintain in our daily life and also to work out everything at ease. He in the between used to keep us asking tricky questions other than our daily studies so that we don't get bored and all. And even now he does this. 
Talking about my mother, she is the backbone of the three of us. She cares for everyone in the house and she didn't ask me to help or do any other stuff in the house so that I could study without interruption. As she is a set qualified, she does know what it takes to pass for the net. And I think it's the family bond and environment that made us possible to learn and I want to thank my papa, mummy and momo for whatever I am today. Another thing I would like to mention is that just before exam I had dengue fever due to which I had admitted to hospital and I didn't get proper time to revise before the exam. Nevertheless, clarity of concepts in the beginning helped me to get through this. Again, it was my family who helped me to get through it and they are the true inspiration for my hard work. And finally, the result makes it all worthwhile. The efforts you have put on will indeed have to work one day. We have to trust ourselves more than anyone. And also don't listen to what people say because they have only a mouthful of words to speak. But don't forget, you have hands to work for ourselves. So yeah, this was my overall experience. Now for those who wish to appear for NET 2023, I will be posting a few videos on what all resources I used, how did I study without joining any coaching and what were the free resources I used or how to make a flexible timetable, some memorization tips, how to make notes, how to do revision, how to search on the web efficiently about essential authors, important movements, etc. So thank you so much to all my subscribers for believing in me and waiting for the videos I promised. Therefore, until the next one, stay tuned. Meanwhile, you can post any of your queries in the comments below, which I will pick up to answer in the upcoming video. So thanks for listening and I look forward to see you in the next one.